So, Christmas with the Chosen was an amazing announcement that we got from Dallas last week. And along with this, we got a brand new trailer that is amazing, all having to do with Mary and the Christmas story. Now, this trailer is awesome. As always, we're expecting an amazing episode of The Chosen, and this is going to be a little bit different. There's a lot of hidden things within this trailer. So first, let's just watch it and see what's going on. And then I want to break down piece by piece kind of what's going on here, and maybe some hidden messages that we see, hidden clues for the episode. Do you know where Luke is? I didn't tell him everything. Go tell it on the mountain. Joseph, I can't keep looking. He's coming. Over the hills and everywhere. Uh, Eddie, how are you seeing this? It's time. Go. And my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Remember what your messenger said. The first thing. Don't be afraid. That Jesus Christ is People must know. Okay, so there's a lot to this trailer. Let's start out from the very beginning. Do you know where Luke is? <laughs> now, Mary is looking for Luke. Who is Luke? Well, we know that Luke is one of the writers of the four Gospels. So he wrote the book of Luke. We know that Luke was a doctor and that he wasn't an original apostle, but he did become an important figure later on. Now, throughout this trailer, we're seeing kind of two different timelines going on. We see a timeline that's after the show of The Chosen that we know, and we are seeing a timeline from before, during the time of the shepherd and right before then. So we can see the young Mary with Joseph as they're riding through Bethlehem, looking for a place to, to stay for the night and we know this story right it's the christmas story but we're also seeing this future story right this story that is part of the chosen series here which is going to be really interesting to see how they tie the two together and how it's all working so mary is obviously trying to look for luke in order for her to tell the story of the christmas story and to tell him more details that she may not have told him yet or told anybody else yet so right on the onset of this trailer we see mary is talking to someone she's asking them if they know where luke is and later Later on, we see as she is dictating and this person is writing stuff down. Now, we can see clearly that I think that this is Mary Magdalene. It looks very similar to the character that we know from the first two seasons. And even though they don't show her face, it seems pretty clear to me. Mary is speaking with her in this first scene. And then right after this cut, we see as Mary Magdalene is walking into this room where Luke is. Presumably to deliver this message that Mary, the mother of Jesus, has just given to her to relay. Now, the Chosen speaks a lot through their costuming and their wardrobe. So we see here that it's a very similar headdress that this character is wearing here to Mary Magdalene, as well as obviously her black hair flowing down her back. But as this character walks into this room, she sees a man at a desk and he turns around. This seems to be Luke. I'm not 100% sure the Chosen could be tricking us here, but there is some really interesting things in this room. First, we can see it's very nice. There's a desk and lots of scrolls and bottles and different implements here. He's obviously in the middle of writing something down at the moment. But what's most interesting to me is the insignias above his head and to the right of the room. Part of these insignias look like a Roman sigil, like the SPQR that we've seen in several other areas and even on the chest of Atticus. But the middle of the symbol reminds me so much of the Cairo symbol, which we see from the early Christians. We continue on in the trailer and we see as Mary and Joseph are traveling through Bethlehem, trying to find a place to stay. But obviously Mary is about to have a child. And so they need to find a place very quickly. And as we know from the story, there's no room in any of the inns. And so they have to stay where the animals stay. An important note here, as Mary and Joseph are staying here in the animal pen, getting ready to have Jesus, Joseph walks towards the door and he says, are you seeing this? Maybe pointing towards the star of Bethlehem. I guess we'll have to see. Now, this next part was slightly confusing to me when I first watched it. We were shown many scenes of Mary and Joseph in the stable, and then it cut to this person drawing the fish symbol on the ground. Now, a lot of us know that this symbol is a sign of Christianity, but here's how it was used back in the day. Right after Christ's resurrection and ascension, many people were being persecuted because they were Christians, and they didn't want to be outwardly recognized as Christians because they could be killed uh, like a lot of the apostles were. And so what they would do is when they went up to someone who they thought would also be a Christian, they would draw a line, the first half of the fish symbol. 
And then if the other person was a Christian and recognized them, they would draw the other half, making the full fish symbol, something that was easily brushed away if someone didn't recognize it, or if it was completed, they could brush it into the sand as well to get rid of it, notifying each other that they were both Christians. So here we see as someone is drawing that symbol. Now it's hard to tell. Is this Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene doing this? Is this Mary Magdalene and Luke? Is this someone else entirely? Are we getting a glimpse of what the early church might have looked like after Jesus' ascension? Either way, I'm excited to see it and it's going to be really, really interesting. Then we get another glimpse of what looks like the Mary Magdalene character being questioned by a Roman. Maybe she's traveling somewhere and he's just checking her papers. Papers. At first glance, I would have guessed that this is Mother Mary, but it doesn't seem like her same headdress from when she was younger or from when she's in the older version. And then next, we get two glimpses of people that we don't know yet. Maybe people that we're going to meet in season three or important characters for later on in the church's ministry. We're not sure. But the first one is putting on a hood and the second one is just looking past the camera. These could be as little as the innkeeper that's letting Mary and Joseph stay in the stable, or it could be as important as someone like Stephen or Paul or someone else that we're going to meet later on. And then we end again with Mother Mary talking with Mary Magdalene, at least I think it is, telling her people must know. In the Gospel of Luke, we get one of the most detailed descriptions of Jesus's birth, right? The whole Christmas story. And so this is why it's focusing on Mary and on Luke. It makes sense that all of it would be intertwined, but I would expect to see some really important things within this episode that are going to connect to the rest of the chosen, give us foreshadowing for other things that are coming up and give us some treats in there. I bet. I'm sure that Dallas has planned specific things as a nod to the future uh, for specific characters that we have wanted to see for a long time. So I'm really, really excited about this Christmas special and everything that's coming into it. Not just the episode, but also the music that's going to come along with all of that. But this trailer in particular was a treat. So I am super excited for this new episode and I'm ready to see exactly what is going to be going on. I hope you like this video. Thanks for being part of our community. Thanks as always to our amazing patrons. And if you guys want to help us out with that, you can go to patreon.com slash the snipe life to sign up there. Thanks guys. We love you so much and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Do you know where Luke is? I didn't tell him everything. Go tell it on the mountain. Joseph, we can't keep looking. He's coming. Over my head. Eddie, how are you seeing this? It's time. Go tell it on the my soul magnifies the Lord. And my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Remember what your messenger said. The first thing. Don't be afraid. That Jesus Christ is People must know.